So today uh, we'll create uh, one custom UI application uh, for our uh, custom data model, which we uh, created the data model in previous sessions. Okay. So as part of that one, first we need to copy the OVP, the standard template into custom one. Okay. So this is the first step for that one. So once you log into uh, MDG system, MDG IMG, So here, uh, go to general settings. After data model, we have something called UI modeling. Okay, so in UI modeling, first we have something called manage UI configurations. Okay, so this is the place where you can see all the uh, FPM uh, out of box uh, applications, whether it's a, a standard or custom applications uh, with respect to MDG. So you can find all the applications over here. Okay, so once you execute this, it will open up in a browser. Sorry, copy this into Chrome. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Yes. Okay, so here it opens up uh, in a browser where you can see all the UI applications. See, now you can see all the UI applications over here. Uh, and along with that one, you can also find the data model as well. Okay, so here you can filter down with uh, the data model. So if you, there are a few applications which are tied to OG data model, sim similarly for BP, MM. Okay, so then uh, there are a few applications you can find over here, which are actually not assigned to any data model. Okay, so we'll go through these uh, the standard UI applications uh, which are there assigned to MMR, BPR, OG. So first, I'm talking about that uh, the template, right? So this is the standard template that SAP provided. The template name is USMD underscore OVP underscore Gen. So this is a template. Uh, you can find this template in any MDG system. Once MDG components got activated, so then this by default, you will find this uh, over here in this configuration. So this is a standard template that SAP has provided to us. Now, as part of our first step, so we need to copy that the standard template into Z template, okay? So uh, into Z application, basically, okay? So then select this. And there is an option called copy. Okay. So now this is a standard application, which we are copying into Z. Okay. So this application has got uh, two child components. So basically what happens is, let me uh, show you here. So US, the standard one is USMD underscore OVP underscore Zen. Okay, so this is the standard one, USMD underscore OVP Zen. Under that, there are two child components are there. This is a parent and there are two child components are there. One is adaptable OVP, other one is OVP component. Okay. So here you have one is adaptable, adaptable OVP. The other one is OVP component. OVP component. Okay, so the standard template contains this is a parent. There are two childs are there. Okay, so each both uh, these childs have diff meant for different purpose. Okay, so now what we are doing, I'm copying this into some Z 
let's say our data model is uh, uh, what is I think uh, what is our data model? Let me just check the name of the data model. Uh, yeah, ZP is our data model. Okay, so so what I'm doing is here when you're copying into ZP application, so we can name Z underscore data model name ZOP ZP underscore something called OVP underscore Z. So this is so the standard component will get copied into your Z. Similarly, these two chains also we need to copy into Z. So Z adaptable and Z OVP, Z OVP, some name that is what it shows over here. Now you can see uh, in this one. So this is your parent, okay, and this is uh, uh, for your uh, adaptable means this is the adaptable uh, that copied into Z, and this is the other one OVP component, okay. So it, these are the standard ones on the right hand side. You see the uh, the Z custom ones. Okay, now this, so this is a, in the custom also, this is a parent and these two are childs. That's how you need to interpret. Okay, so now here you can actually rename this. It, by default, what happens, SAP, standard SAP, when you click a copy, it adds Z underscore. Okay, now what you can do is, there is an option called over here, change FX. FX means it can be either prefix or suffix. So when you click on this, so prefix, what I wanted to give is, zp our data model name suffix uh it's okay we can uh, ignore that suffix okay so when you say something like this and click on okay so this your target uh, application name your z application name got renamed as per this one so z uh, ovp component z zp adaptable component and zp com uh, ovp component okay so these three this is a parent and these two are the shells so it is not a copy, it is not a created, it's just proposing, showing you that this is a proposal. What we need to do is, you need to click on start deep copy. So when you click on this start deep copy, this is the time where it actually creates in the system uh, your Z application. Okay, uh, you can save it in a project if you have a specific package. Um, for now, I'm just storing in a local package. Okay, now it got copied, this one. Okay, so if you go back here and to your main uh, uh, where you see all the list of OVP applications and if you do a refresh over here in the bottom uh, right, you see this refresh option. When you do a refresh over here, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. You should be able to find uh... Can you filter without uh, where is yeah you can see it copied over here zp okay so let me filter all so your z application is here so we copied from this one we copied uh, from this one from the standard template and i created a copy of that uh, into z namespace so it's a standalone application now ui application but the data model is not yet attached. We just copied from this one to here, but we haven't assigned any data model. Okay, so that is our step two. You can see our step two is link your data model. How do I link the data model? So then again, uh, you have your Z application, right? So in the Z application, click on this. Uh, this is a parent. Click on this uh, uh, Z application name, display. Okay, so these are the two child components. One is a CBA component, other one is your, uh, uh, we call this as a second one as a component configuration. So, the, so this is a parent application. Now there are two childs are there. Okay, so now whatever uh, uh, you can see here, this is your header information. At, uh, at the main application level, parent level, you can see already some values are automatically populated over here. These values got populated from your the copied version from the standard when you copy from the standard into Z. So whatever the attributes are there, the values are there. All those values are automatically copied into your Z application. So these values we don't touch at all. 
So if you are an uh, uh, FPM or if you are an Webdin Pro expert, so then you can actually play around with the properties. But by default, these we usually we don't touch, we don't change any of these parameters. But only one change that we do is basically I wanted to assign my data model to this my this Z application. How I do that? So basically, click on edit button. You can see there is a pencil symbol over here, right? So you can click on edit button. Now there will be one property over here. You can see this is the property where you need to attach the data model. Okay, so only we need to attach the data model. So for that one, you just need to link your data model over here. Only this property or this header attribute, we will just simply change. But if you look at uh, this USMD underscore OTC, it is not actually asking for the data model. Instead of that one, it is asking to maintain the OTC here. What is OTC? We discussed, we created one OTC for our data model. So that is select your data model, go to entity types and go to your type one entity and a business object type. OTC is nothing but your business object type. Okay, so this one we already created. So that at the UI level, it is expecting to maintain the OTC. If I enter this OTC indirectly, I'm also linking my data model over there. Okay. So that's why I'll just take this OTC 